It is long overdue for the Prime Minister to listen to the people he Absolutely, works for. Right. It is time to show leadership and admit when something isn't working. Will he scrap the carbon tax? And if not, will he step down and let us fix what he broke? That's a good question. The Finance Minister's inflationary budget is costing each Canadian family $4,200. Yet she said, and I quote, we are absolutely determined that our debt to GDP ratio must continue to decline. Our deficits must continue to be reduced. This is a line we shall not cross. So I'll give her a chance one more time today. Will she finally listen to her own advice and cut this inflationary spending? Yeah. In. A senior in her mid-60s is homeless because she can't afford rent in Toronto. She lived in her car for seven weeks before finding place in a shelter system. Sage lives in a tent. She's 23 years old from Portage La Prairie and has been homeless for two years. These aren't data points on a graph, they're people. The Liberals plan to announce large amounts of funding no one can access with zero accountability is not working. They are not accounting for nearly $30 billion that the Auditor, Auditor General is calling for them to investigate. Who are they listening to? 1.5 billion people used a food bank. Children are starving. People are dying by suicide. We are not saying that. When will they listen, have some humble pie, and quit their inflationary spending? <laughs> the minister in charge of passports said, and I quote, my best advice to Canadians is to not make that application right now because it simply won't be processed. Unreal. Come on. How low can you make the customer service bar? That's right. This Prime Minister came out admitting his carbon tax is punishing Canadians and making life unaffordable. That's right. His solution? Temporarily removing a small portion of the carbon tax just in Atlantic Canada. The Liberal Minister from Newfoundland and Labrador said on national news the decision was based solely on votes. Unreal. Political science, not real science. That's These right. allegations are as serious as it gets. Over a thousand days, the two Michaels waited in a cell wondering if they would ever see their family again. So we ask again, on what day? Did this Prime Minister know of these horrendous and disturbing allegations of a Liberal MP who told the PRC consulate that to leave them in their cell? Andrea wrote to me and said, we normally skip lunch, even my three kids, because I just can't afford three meals a day right now. Wow. Mr. Speaker, we have a chance right now, today, the Prime Minister, it is long overdue, to show compassion, to actually support Canadians. So will he today commit to no new tax yeah. security? Paul Bernardo is a serial killer, a serial rapist, and without a doubt, the most heinous monster of our time. Yet this minister didn't tell the victims' families and pretended to be shocked by the news. Today, Conservatives demand the minister stand in this House, apologize, do the right thing, just say sorry, and resign. If you care about these victims' families, do it. The Minister of Public Safety can't even stand in the House and answer the question I just gave him. He can't even look in that camera and say to those victims' families, I'm sorry. Instead, he wants to divert. He wants to blame everyone else. He is the minister. The buck with public safety stops with him. No one else. So enough. Will he resign? And if he won't resign, tell us right now which staff member is going down for not telling him. One farmer in Alberta pays $180 thousand dollars a year in carbon tax and that doesn't include the GST on top of that. This is not sustainable. Food is not a luxury. This Prime Minister is just not worth the cost. So when will he stop his inflationary spending so Canadians like Lindsay can keep their home?